I am uh, Professor Laurent Pierrot, uh, Reims France, uh, and uh, I am uh, now discussing with uh, Johan Duplessis, who was presenting uh, during the Microvention Symposium, the FRESH study. So can you tell us what exactly is the FRESH study? The FRESH study is a retrospective observational study that reviewed the use of, at that point, the novel FREDEX flow diverter uh, in a, a real-world setting. And we gathered data on several aspects, but mainly looked at the primary outcomes of uh, safety and efficacy of the device. Can you just tell us uh, briefly what FREDEX is, what is uh, and what is supposed to improve? Thank you. Yeah, FREDEX is a, is a revision of existing technology, uh, unique hybrid dual layer flow diverter that consists of a external scaffolding with an internal flow diverting part with 48 wires and this was then co uh, covalently bonded to a hemophilic uh, PMEA copolymer and that is supposed to reduce the thrombogenicity of the device while maintaining vessel healing. According to that, what, is, what are the safety results of a fresh study? Uh, looking at the results of 161 cases, there were major adverse events and only five, which relate co uh, to a 3.1% major complication rate. Um, this can be broken down into a neurological, permanent neurological deficit of 1.9% and a mortality rate of 1.2%. So that's very good results compared to other series with uh, flow diverters. And uh, regarding the efficacy, what are the results of the series? Uh, as with the safety results, the efficacy is also very comparable with other published results on other flow diverters with a 83% percent uh, 83.1% adequate occlusion rate, of which 16% was a grade 2 Raymond classification, so a 66% complete occlusion rate, but 83% adequate. So very interesting for sure. And in fresh study, you have included also distal aneurysm treated with flow diversion and retroid aneurysm treated with uh, flow diversion. What are the uh, safety and efficacy results in these subgroups? We did indeed. Um, regarding safety, the results were even better. There was only one, and the subarachnoid hemorrhage group, there was only one uh, major complication, which was unfortunately also a death. Um, and in the distal aneurysms, it was a very low serious complication rate of only transient neuro neurology in one patient. So thank you uh, for presenting this uh, promi promising uh, technology and thank you for presenting uh, fresh results. Thank, thank you. you.